Hello again, it's Grace chatting and just answering another one of your questions. A question that I'm also often asked is how do I know if he or she is right for me? So when it, it's closely aligned to the question, how do I uh, choose the right kind of partner? Uh, but having chosen somebody, how do you know if, if they're right? So first of all, it's about how do you make your choices in the first place? Now, a, a chap called uh, John Van Epp uh, wrote a book, How Not to Marry a Jerk. And it's an excellent book if you want to uh, to get to get it. How not to marry a jerk or a jerkette. And basically, his model is um, uh, you know there's six kind of criteria to uh, check out. One is um, do you know them? Now a lot of people drift into um, sexual relationship with somebody before they've even really got to know them. Then they get um, all the, the physiology involved in having a sexual relationship with somebody. All the chemistry, you know, and people talk about, oh, there's chemistry between us. Well, sometimes really that's all there is. Um, and because of the chemistry, it's like taking a hit of heroin. Because of the chemistry, they're not thinking straight. There's things they need to be saying that they don't say, and there's things that they need to say that they're not saying. Uh, but basically, people will, will start to just see what they want to say. So, how do you know if it's the right person for you? First of all, take Take time to get to know them before you get physical with them and before you kind of start to lose your mind a bit. Um, find out if you can trust them. So the next thing is, so it's, do you know them? Can you trust them? Can you rely on them? Can they make a commitment? Um, and that then when you can answer all those questions, then you get more into the physical side. So looking at, can you trust them? You look at, how are they with their friends? So you make a point of seeing them with their friends. A lot of people meet up with somebody, are heavily attracted and are so enthralled with them that they just hole up with them for six weeks and then they are really bonded and hooked and they've never really got to meet their friends or get to know what they're like. They've never met their work colleagues. They've never met any of their family. They don't really get to know how they operate in their relationships with other people. So one of the things you need to do is to check out how are people in their relationships with other people in their lives that matter? Do they treat them well? Do they care about them? Are they kind? Are they thoughtful? Are they considerate? or not? Um, do they have a lot of addictions? Uh, are they in debt? Do they, uh, you know, how, just, just what are their lifestyle habits and what is their lifestyle? And does it fit with your lifestyle and what you want? Um, so the, the next thing is, um, are they reliable? So you, you, you can't know if they're reliable if you just hole up with them and you don't ever see them out and about and how they conduct their life and their relationships with other people. And to know if they're reliable, that's over time. Um, do they turn up? Do they keep their promises? Do they do what they said they were going to do? Um, yeah, and that ties in with are they trustworthy? Um, are they people who can make a commitment? If they are people who have had a long series of broken relationships, then probably that's, that, that doesn't fit. And there's no sense saying it as a hard luck story of what all those other people did to them. You know, there's a clue there. So you need to look at, well, what, what's their commitment history? So once again, to know if somebody's right for you, look at really taking time to get to know. You can't get to know somebody in a few days or weeks even. So you, sometimes some people you wouldn't get to know them in a lifetime. So you need to get to know them first. You need to know if they're reliable. You need to know if you can trust them. You need to know are they able to make a commitment and not dump you after a few months when all the chemistry wears off. And then when you've sorted all that out, then get physical. So if you really want to know if somebody's right for you, those are the steps to take if you really want to know the answer to that question. Bye for now.